Looking for answers after several people say they trusted the wrong mechanic. Good evening and happy Easter to those who celebrate. I'm Jeff Mallon. It's a story we were first told you about last week. A Jacksonville woman used Facebook to find someone to fix her car. She says the man she paid left her car, though, in worse shape than when it all got started. Now another family has stepped forward saying the same man did the same thing. We talked about this earlier in this evening, but there are new developments on your signs. Alex Asaitis joins us live downtown with a closer look. Alex, you're hearing from both sides tonight. And that's right, Jeff. And tonight, this family says that they hired this mechanic to fix their car. It was actually this man pictured here, and they say they didn't know about his extensive background before they hired him. The driveway of Travis Moore's home filled with parts of his car. It's been sitting there idle for over a month. I can't afford this, man. Like, all of the stuff that he's done, that's the old engine. He went on Facebook looking for someone to fix his Mazda. Moore says he got a message in response to his search. It was from a woman who then referred him to her partner to do work on his car. Yeah, he said his name was Ricky. Pointing to a mugshot of Richard Laundress, who has an outstanding warrant from Bradford County of a probation violation for Grand Theft Auto. He's listed on over a dozen past charges in Jacksonville as well, including theft. Moore says Laundress worked on his car at least two times, but then left it like this. I mean, I've got a landlord who passes by here. He sees this derelict vehicle just sitting here, and who knows? Then just stop hearing from him. We tried the number that Moore gave us for Ricky, getting responses through text message, saying, quote, one person has a complaint, then 10 others act like they were done wrong, end quote. And in Moore's case, he says those were, quote, lies. We asked for an interview, but never received an answer. Moore says he's out nearly $900 for work he paid to be done on his car, to which we received a text message reply from Ricky's cell phone, saying that he had never worked on Moore's car at all, rather agreed to just pick up a motor. Moore adds that in the meantime, it's put his family in a bind. And this is one of our only only vehicles here, so I just I wish I'd have made a better decision on who I got to to do the work. Now, Moore says that he's been in touch with law enforcement about this case. He's also been in touch with other people who've been commenting on the story. He says that he's been reaching out to them as well. We're live tonight following this story closely from downtown. Alex Osiris, First Coast News on your side.